Hello world, welcome to my channel. My name is Wenai and on my channel, I talk about money, investing, self-improvement and anything that makes your life better. And today I want to talk to you about to buy or not to buy a house. Housing crash is definitely one of the hottest topic in 2020. With all the craziness going on, with all the forbearance and eviction bans, a lot of people are talking about a housing crash in 2021. The weirdest thing is, with the highest level of unemployment, the housing price seems to find its own way to keep going up. And I know a lot of people simply give up on looking for a house. And I see a lot of videos and articles telling people that the housing price is simply too high to get into the market right now. So today I wanted just to share my thoughts on whether or not you should buy a house or to wait till the market cools down a little bit. So let's get started. A lot of people say don't buy it because the price is too high. But to me, I feel like if you're buying for yourself or your family and you have a plan in place, don't get discouraged or just give up because people are saying so. If you have the right strategy and a healthy budget, I say stick with their plan. Don't change anything just because people are telling you to do one thing or another. But of course, if you're buying a house to the neck of your income or even out of your budget, just to show off to your friends that you have a nice place to live, then I would make a hundred videos to tell you, no, it's not a good time to buy and it never will. But if you're being smart and you're, you have done your research and you understand how real estate works, for example, if you're buying a house or a small multi-unit and you're renting out rooms or a unit to house hacking while leaving there for free or pay a small amount of mortgage, then it's a different story. Don't ever stop looking for the right property. It might take you longer to find it, but a good deal is a good deal. It doesn't matter what experts are saying and doesn't matter what the market is. You have to know your number, know your budget and understand how real estate works. The next thing I want to do is to put into perspective to understand how exactly this housing price increase affect you and your wallet. And to do that, of course, we have to do a little bit math. We all know the mortgage rate is relatively low right now. So let's say with the housing price, how exactly is it going to affect our monthly payment? Let's assume we are buying a house for 500,000. So we're going to input 500,000 here. And let's assume just for simple math, we're going to put 20% down, which is 100,000. So that gives us a loan amount of $400,000. I'm going to use my number as for the interest rate. I bought my house late 2018 and at the time my purchase uh, rate was 4.75. It, it's a little bit higher because I got a condo and I didn't really put 20% down. But for the example, let's just use this number. And it, it is 30 years and we're not going to change anything here. And then property tax, we're just going to assume that's uh, 1.25% of course it's going to be different based on your location but let's just for the sake of the math um, home insurance we're going to assume that's 750 a year and let's say there's no HOA and now we're going to hit oops sorry I should do um, buy and we're going to hit calculate so right there your monthly PITI, which means your principal interest, property tax, and insurance would come out to be $2,669.92. Okay, so same thing. Let's do, let's say the price, the housing price increased 10%. So the same house, it's gonna be 550 right now. And we're gonna put same thing, 20% down, which is, 110,000 that gives us loan amount of 440,000 and the interest rate that I have right now um, after my refine is 3.5 so let's just use that number for now for the calculation and property tax of course is going to increase a little bit let's same thing assume that's 1.25 percent of the uh, purchase price and the insurance home owner insurance gonna increase a little bit as well 
and we're going to hit calculate again and that number comes out to be $2,617.46 which is actually a little bit lower than if the housing price was at five, 500 even. So you're thinking, how is it possible? But everybody is saying the housing price is so high that it's more expensive to buy it. And of course, my point is not to tell you to buy or not to buy a house right now. My point is to tell you that you have to figure out your number. You have to know what works for you and how much you can afford a month. So don't change your plan just because people are doing one thing or another or people are telling you to do one thing or another. Even if they're experts, even if they are economists or whatever they do, they don't know your situation. You have to know your situation. You know you and your family the most. So figure out your number, do some math and stick with your plan. And lastly, I do want to point out that this example is a little bit different if you're buying an investment property. Not saying not to buy investment property, but the interest rate on investment property is not as low as if you were buying a primary residency. So you have to take that into consideration and also consider the current environment. It is a little bit more risky to buy an investment property because a lot of states have ev eviction bans. So if you have a tenant who is not paying rent, there is nothing you can do at this moment other than letting them stay in your property without paying your rent. Generally speaking, a mortgage on investment property is 0.5 to 0.75 more uh, than a primary residency. And during this time, it might cost you more to get a mortgage on investment property because bank knows that if anything happens, you're not going to leave your home without trying everything you can, but you might leave your investment property, especially if your tenant is not paying their rent. So that's something to take into consideration. Again, I'm not telling you to buy or not to buy a primary home or an investment property. I'm simply telling you that you should do your math and figure out your number and see what you are comfortable with are within your budget to do. And also you wanted to, when you're buying an investment property, you wanted to reconsider the vacancy and take into consideration if your tenant lose their job, if they're not able to pay and you're not able to evict them, what, you're going to, what are you going to do? So keep that in mind when you're buying investment properties or if you're house hacking. I hope this video brought you a different perspective for you to think what's best for you and your family. Finance, it's a very personal topic. One thing might work for one person, but not work for another person. So don't just follow whatever everyone else is doing or listen to experts, what they're saying. Do your own homework, do your own research and find out what's the best for you and your family. That's all I have for you guys today. And as we are approaching the end of the year, I wanted to do a year end review with you guys, maybe next week or the following week. If you're interested to learn how to do your own annual review and to find out how I do mine, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so once I post a video, you can be the first one to, to watch the video. All right, without, with that, happy holidays everyone and stay safe, stay healthy. Bye!